If you are thinking about having templates to make your email routine easier, is it only about keeping blocks of text for reuse? What about, for example, filling in the CC field, adding the name of the message recipient to the message body, inserting some pictures, attaching files, or adding a date? Do you want to automate those tasks too? If your answer is yes, autofillable fields are what you need. Watch this video to learn how to create them with the shared email templates add-in. Let's start by creating a new template. Click the New Template button, or if you want to save your template in some folder, click the three dots next to the name of that folder and select the New Template option. Then give your template a name. To automatically send a copy of an email message to, for example, your department email address, add the corresponding autofillable field to your template by using a macro. On the Template Editor toolbar, click the Insert Macro button. You'll see a search box. Start typing Fill. Select Fill CC. You can simply double-click it. The macro dialog will show up. Enter the necessary email address and click OK. The macro placeholder, which is actually a fillable field, is in your template now. Well done! It's always a good idea to add a personal touch to an email message by mentioning the name of a person to whom you are going to send that email message. And it's even a better idea to do it automatically. Just click the Insert Macro button and start typing Insert Recipient in the search box. Select Insert Recipient First Name. Here it is. The autofillable field shown with the macro placeholder appears in your template. If you think that plain text in email messages is just boring, you can always add pictures. Click the Insert Picture button on the Template Editor toolbar. If the picture you're going to add is stored on OneDrive, select Insert Picture from OneDrive. Choose a picture. If you share templates with your workmates, make sure that they have access to the pictures you use. You can specify its width and height. If you want the message recipient to visit, for example, your website when clicking the picture, you can add a link to the website along with the link title. Then click Insert. The autofillable field appears in your template. To avoid attaching the same files over and over again, add attachments automatically with the macro. Click the Insert Macro button and choose the option you need. If your file is stored on OneDrive, select Attach from OneDrive. If you share templates with your workmates, make sure that they have access to the files you select. Here's the macro placeholder with the name of the file that is going to be attached. It looks like one more autofillable field is needed here. It's needed for a date. Click the Insert Macro button and select Insert Date. Choose a date format and locale. To get some days automatically added to the current date or subtract it from it, specify the necessary number under Days Before or After Current Date. For example, the offer mentioned in the template will be valid for 30 days, so you need to enter 30. Then click the Insert button. This field will be filled automatically each time you use this template for your email messages. It's time to save your template. Let's test the created autofillable fields. Don't forget to enter some address into the two fields first to make it possible for the recipient's name to be automatically added to the salutation line. Then click the Insert button. In your email message, autofillable fields disappear, and you can see the data returned by the shared email templates macros instead. Thank you for being with us and watching this video. Enjoy your shared email templates!